Devarim, Deuteronomy 32. Give ear, O ye heavens, and I will speak. And hear, O earth, the words of my mouth. My doctrine shall drop as the rain. My speech shall distill as the dew. As the small rain upon the tender herb, and as the showers upon the grass, because I will publish the name of Yahuwah. Ascribe ye greatness unto our Elohim. He is the rock. His work is perfect. For all his ways are judgment, an L of truth, and without iniquity, just and right is he. They have corrupted themselves. Their spot is not the spot of his children. They are a perverse and crooked generation. Do ye thus requite, Yahuwah, O foolish people and unwise? Is not he your father that has bought you? Has he not made you and established you? Remember the days of old. Consider the years of many generations. Ask your father, and he will show you. Your elders, and they will tell you. When El Elyon divided to the nations their inheritance, when he separated the sons of men, he set the bounds of the people according to the number of the children of Yashar El. For Yahuwah's portion is his people. Yaakov is the lot of his inheritance. He found him in a desert land. And in the waste, howling wilderness, he led him about. He instructed him. He kept him as the apple of his eye. And as an eagle stirs up her nest, flutters over her young, spreads abroad her wings, takes them and bears them, rather, bears them on her wings. So Yahuwah alone did lead him, and there was no strange El with him. He made him ride on the high places of the earth, that he might eat the increase of the fields, and he made him to suck honey out of the rock, and oil out of the flinty rock, butter of kine and milk of sheep, with fat of lambs, and rams of the bread of Bashan, and goats with the fat of kidneys of wheat. And you did drink the pure blood of the grape, but Yahshara run, waxed fat, and kicked. You are waxen fat, you are grown thick, you are covered with fatness. Then he forsook Eloha, which made him, and lightly esteemed the rock of his Yeshua. They provoked him to jealousy with strange Elohim, with abominations provoked they him to anger. They sacrificed unto devils, not to Eloha, to Elohim whom they knew not, to new Elohim that came newly up, whom your fathers feared not. Of the rock that begat you, you are unmindful, and have forgotten El that formed you. And when Yahuwah saw it, he abhorred them because of the provoking of his sons and of his daughters. And he said, I will hide my face from them. I will see what their end shall be, for they are a very, very froward generation, children in whom is no belief. They have moved me to jealousy with that which is not El. They have provoked me to anger with their vanities, and I will move them to jealousy with those which are not a people. I will provoke them to anger with a foolish nation. For a fire is kindled in my anger and shall burn unto the lowest Sheol. 
and shall consume the earth with her increase and set on fire the foundations of the mountains. I will heap mischiefs upon them. I will spend my arrows upon them. They shall be burnt with hunger, and devoured with burning heat and with bitter destruction. I will also send the teeth of beasts upon them with the poison of serpents of the dust. The sword without and terror within shall destroy both the young man and the virgin, the suckling also with the man of gray hairs. I said, I would scatter them into corners. I would make the remembrance of them to cease from among men. Were it not that I feared the wrath of the enemy, lest their adversaries should behave themselves strangely, and lest they should say, Our hand is high, and Yahuwah has not done all this. For they are a nation void of counsel, neither is there any understanding in them. Oh, that they were wise, that they understood this, that they would consider this latter end. How should one chase a thousand and two put ten thousand to flight, except the rock has sold them and Yahuwah has rather had shut them up? For their rock is not as our rock, even our enemies themselves being judges. For their vine is of the vine of Kedon and of the fields of Amora. Their grapes are grapes of gall. Their clusters are bitter. Their wine is the poison of dragons and the cruel venom of asps. Is not this laid up in store with me and sealed up among my treasures? To me belongs vengeance and recompense. Their foot shall slide in due time, for the day of their calamity is at hand. And the things that shall come upon them make haste. For Yahuwah shall judge his people and sigh for his servants when he sees that their power is gone and there is none shut up or left. And he shall say, Where are their Elohim, their rock in whom they trusted, which did eat the fat of their sacrifices and drank the wine of their drink offerings. Let them rise up and help you and be your protection. See now that I, even I, am he. and There is no Elohim with me. I kill and I make alive. I wound and I heal. Neither is there any that can deliver out of my hand. For I lift up my hand to heaven and say, I live forever. If I wet my glittering sword and my hand take hold on judgment, I will render vengeance to my enemies and will reward them that hate me. I will make my arrows drunk with blood and my sword shall devour flesh, and that with the blood of the slain and of the captives from the beginning of the revenges upon the enemy. Rejoice, O ye nations, with his people, for he will avenge the blood of his servants and will render vengeance to his adversaries and will be merciful unto his land and to his people. And Moshe came and spoke at all the words of this song in the ears of the people, he and Husha, the son of Nun. And Moshe made an end of speaking at all these words to Yahshara'el. And he said unto them, Set your hearts unto all the words which I, which I testify among you this day, which ye shall command at your children to guard to do at all the words of this Torah. For it is not a vain thing for you, because it is your life. And through this thing ye shall prolong your days in the land, 
whither ye go over at the Yardin to possess it. And Yahuwah spoke unto Moshe that selfsame day, saying, Get you up into this mountain of Raim, unto Mount Nebu, which is in the land of Moab, and that is over against Yericho. Behold, at the land of Canaan, which I give unto the people, rather children of Yashadael, for a possession, and die in the mount whither you go up, and be gathered unto your people, as Aharan your brother died in Mount Hor, and was gathered unto his people, because ye transgressed against me among the children of Yashadael at the waters of Meribah, Kadesh, in the wilderness of Sin, because ye sanctified me not in the midst of the children of Yashadael. Yet you shall see at the land before you, but you shall not go thither unto the land which I give the children of Yashadael.